I keep up quickly for the vault. I thought I would have more time. But that's where we're starting. We're jumping in here to save Sir Remnant. And I decided to monk. <clears throat> Go back to my original thoughts of just the one class leveling right through on the speed. Unfortunately, he didn't miss anything. By the way, I got new fish fucking.
go. This is going rather smoothly. Trying for an LBT. Our power! Hold back! We would not 
not too late, my friend. Why must you do this, father? Nidhogg is fallen. There is no need for further deception. Now is the time to renounce the lies which led us down this path. To start anew! And tear down the very pillars of our society? Our history? Our values? Everything we have built over a thousand years? <sighs> a fool to the last. Go, as Isla awaits. Lord Orshafon! You are unharmed. Forgive me. I could not bear the thought of... of... Oh, do not look at me so. A smile better suits a hero. I've seen this before, but it still makes me terrible. I know not what to say. Now this they've gathered it up for Tom Manor. The others are these are different. Don't please. A knight lives to serve, to protect, to sacrifice. There is no greater calling. Leave me to mourn and give chase for my son and for the nation he loved. Go!
His sacrifice shall not be forgotten. Bye. have forsaken us, Lord Horshafalt took us in, our beacon of hope in a world of darkness. Oh. Such an emotional thing. <coughs> it is utmost to raise our spirits, so we must face our troubles with courage, fiction, so that we might face them as, as knights. Deep meditation. Deep meditation grants me an 80% chance that a chakra will open upon dealing critical damage with a weapon skill. However, most of my stuff is going to be lower than 62 right now, so I probably wouldn't even be able to use that trait. <laughs> but it also means I can uh, use my forbidding chakra move more often. I. We must press on with our mission. Taru, pray return to your duties at the Forgotten Land. Let us go and speak with Sir Emek, the Eskos. I worry for his well-being. go in the same direction because the two places we're trying to go to are like right next and are right next to the forgotten eighth right shard audience with the lord commander yes yes of course My friends, I am in your debt. Think nothing of it. Your wounds are healing well, I trust. Some wounds do not heal. Founding. The scriptures, a thousand years of lies, all to deceive the common man. Nay, our own brothers and sisters. For the blood of the Knights Twelve flows within all our veins. You knew this to be true. You knew, and you concealed it. I should be interested to hear how you came by this knowledge. But yes, you have the right of it. The architects of Ishgard, King Thorden and his knights twelve, entrapped and butchered the great worm, Ratatoske, that they might partake of her eyes and thereby transcend their mortal limits. Upon learning of their treachery, Nidhogg was consumed with a murderous and justified rage. I dare say you know what followed. The great worm slew the king and half of his knights. Aye, but Nidhogg was subdued, and his eyes plucked from their sockets by the knights that remained. Their one mistake was to show mercy, for from his brother Hreisvelger did Nidhogg receive a new eye, thus rejuvenating his form and empowering him to embark upon an eternal quest for vengeance. Whilst Thorden's son Haldreth took one of Nidhogg's eyes and learned to wield its power in defense of his people. 
Thus was the first Azure Dragoon born. And ever since that time, his honored successors have risen to drive Nidhogg from our lands whenever the worm has returned to plague us. I ask you, my son, will you answer for my sins? Will your son and his son answer for me as well? What do you mean? If a man cannot atone for his sins in the course of his all-too-fleeting life, must his progeny then be held to account? Must every subsequent generation be judged as well? Thorin's betrayal of Ratatoska was an unconscionable, unforgivable sin. Should we then, as his descendants, meekly surrender ourselves to an eternity of punishment? Nay, say I. I would not see our children sacrificed in a vain attempt to appease an implacable foe. Dragons are not like us, my son. To they who live forever, the wrongs of antiquity are as those of yesterday. No reparations shall ever suffice. This fact alone should serve as ample justification for our actions. Yet some refuse to see it as such. For men like you, who yearn to commit themselves to a nobler cause, a more compelling narrative is required. This is your solution. This is how you protect our people. You have given us a lost cause, a death sentence, with your compelling narrative. You but doom our countrymen to give their lives for a lie. And they do so gladly. Highborn and lowborn alike are proud to serve, to fight and die for their country. And what would you say to them? What would you tell the wives who have lost their husbands? The mothers who have lost their sons? That their loved ones died for naught? I... Uh... Over the course of a thousand years, countless men have donned these robes, and every one of them came to accept the necessity of this solution. Once, I hoped you might come to accept it as well. Do not despair, my son. Soon I shall free us from the sins of antiquity and bring about the change you so fervently desire. If he has spoken with others, I would have their names. Escort him to a cell and question him. Thoroughly. Your Eminence. You saw something, did you not? A vision of the past? So this is the power of the Echo. Would that it had shown you a finer moment from my past. T'was an exercise in futility, as you saw. Faced with the firmity of his conviction and his many ready rejoinders, my words deserted me. To be frank, I am embarrassed to recall it. A friend once impressed upon me the importance of differentiating between words, deeds, and beliefs. Were he here, I suspect he would judge your father's conviction to be no more than rank, self-serving delusion. Even so, I cannot help but wonder what manner of change he intends to bring about. I have given some thought to that as well. During the battle within the vault, 
The Heaven's Ward demonstrated strange and unnatural abilities. Aye, the manner in which Sir Zephyrin struck down Lord Horshafon was unlike anything I've ever seen before. The spectacle called to mind King Thordon and his Knights Twelve as they are depicted in scripture. Holy powers and all. Mere fabrications, which have become objects of faith, instilled with the belief of countless devoted souls. Seven hells! If Lady Iceheart can use her own body as a vessel for summoning, I see no reason why others could not. Are the Heaven's Ward truly so reckless? Unbelievable! As they fled, my father spoke of Aziz La. Though I know not what he intends, I fear no good shall come of it. His ambitions are too great, and his minions too powerful. We must find the Heaven's Ward and stop my father before it is too late. So the explanation, the title of the expansion, which is Heaven's Ward, uh, kind of has a double meaning because it's like Heaven's Ward, which is basically the word of Heaven's Ward, up. Uh, a lot of this expansion talks about dragons flying, up, things up in the sky, and we've got the, the sea of clouds, and the green mists are all super high in the sky. Heaven's Ward. Um, so, interesting kind of duality to the title of the game. Master Winsmore, Master of No, I am Rick, Bow Commander of the Temple Knights of Ishgard, do hereby entreat this aid of the science of the Seventh Dawn. But he is preventing and preventing whatever it is that the Archbishop intends. Your aid in bringing him to justice. Too much blood has been spilt from the lies he's made. All right. I think with Elagos, I said I shall uh, pursue him to the end of the world if I must. But Windsmall is a different character, and he's a little bit more reckless. He, He might have a little bit of a, like a, a inferiority complex, like he wants to be more powerful, like within reason. But he could get angry at, at things such as this. So life or death, I will have Sir Zephyr's heart for him, that he did to him. Good friend, you saw my back. Yes, yes, of course, you two were close, I know. Which has changed since our order's founding, but our duty to combat the primal threat with the Archbishop and the Heaven's Ward. Word? Ward? Heaven's Ward? 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 Are guilty of the crime of summoning, then Essigos and I will stop them. Would that I could join you in the pursuit, but alas, my father's absence during our government chaos. Ever since the founding of our nation, there has been an archbishop to serve as a guiding light for the masses, who forced the stability to counterbalance the high houses peaceless maneuver. Convincing the people to recognize the truth of our origins would have been difficult even with my father's. The road ahead is much more fraught with peril than ever. Yet, Walk it we must, for unity is more vital to our survival than ever. After all, Nidhogg's death did not mark the secession of Gravanian hostilities. Far from it, we will have a great need for each other in the days to come. You may have a count of my land, Sir Remick. To my dying breath, I shall defend Ishgarth. If I may, Lord Commander, I would like to assist the science of the Essigas, Master Alphano, pray attend me outside. 
Very well. With me, Asinos, I believe we have much to discuss. Lillier uh, was eastbound was eastward bound, so I sent word to Clint and Cloudtop on the off chance the airship passed nearby. Fair enough, the lady Laniet Laniet Anna informed me that it has been sighted by her scouts. Then the Archbishop is somewhere in the Sea of Clouds. Or was not long ago. The airship has not not been seen since it disappeared into the northern reaches near the blue wi window. Alas, because of the region is firmly held by the Vanavano and not easily accessible from the planet. Camp Cloudtop, Cloud Top, House Harlanet, uh, has yet to establish foothold. You will need only need not only an airship, but a captain both enough bold enough to risk the beam and ground. I think we both have the perfect candidate. As a ghost, let us pray a visit to Master Garland of the Guy Steel Manufacturing. Then I will take my leave for now. There are other matters which require my attention. Streaming for 40 minutes already? That's live when you're having fun, I suppose. Ah, the dust really do. Which, which mischief have you two been getting up to lately? You haven't heard, have you? Probably know where to stop. And so I'll tell him the tale. He was a good man. Did have you ever heard of Asus La? The Archbishop spoke of it before he fled. No, but I probably some sort of phenomenal cosmic power that key to his plans. From what he told, told Eskos, the Asians. Uh, tried to tempt him as they tempted Gaius with the Ultima weapon. Even if he uh, spoke true about playing, al playing along, I can see him attempting to As if we needed another reason to put through him. Well, I'm convinced the Enterprise is at your disposal. Come to the airship landing when you're ready to depart. Just as well, after pulling you out of the f uh, fire these last few times, I reckon it was due to deliver you into it. Into the fire. Okay. In that case, they should have formed Tauru of our planet. Play, go on ahead to the airship thing, yeah, she throws you an arm. So it's been, been hard at work preparing for our flight. And pleased to say we're ready to depart. 
That is as soon as a certain. Please forgive me, I think. Ataru and I had much to discuss. We still are known these in this in science, but she shows me that Orange and Rayo Rayo are pursuing promised deeds. Come see. Come come. Continue to this discussion toward the enterprise. Waiting, waiting for you aboard the Enterprise, as it goes. Shall we get to get going? Hi, I did it myself. A haircut, that is. You missed some emotional stuff, I'm sure. I'm going to have to go back to the, to the archives. Here. To the northern reaches of the Sea of Clouds, where countless isles yet remained uncharted. In search of a mysterious land known as Azizla, and the unmasked villain who sought to claim its secrets. Oblivious to the new threat which followed in their wake, they came. Oh, you missed an emotional, uh, uh, you missed an emotional, uh, part of the thing. Like, I got into the vault, like, I thought being queued in its DPS would take a couple minutes, so I queued before I started the stream. Then the queue pops, so I'm like, oh shit, start the stream. And then the cutscenes right after, there's a very emotional, uh, part to it. Um, uh, which... Despite having seen the events before, it, it still got me a bit teary-eyed for, for those. Um, but you'll, you'll have to, to check the archives. Uh, besides, yeah, besides the regular VODs on Twitch, we also have the Comes Out Loud YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Comes Out Loud. If I remember to actually explore my VODs, I should, I should do that after I'm done streaming today. Just make sure everything's up to date. I'm here, Kite Cloudtop. Uh, looks rather far. Ahem. Be on your guard, I suppose. The Vlad uh, can be anywhere, even watching us as we speak. Assuming the Soleil is, uh, is here, I doubt she will come come to us. We should begin searching the aisles for this. Of course, we must remain vigilant with the Vanu Scouts as well. I would rather avoid needless bloodshed. Well, we do know that they summoned a primal. Let me check this out. That. Oh yeah, the the uh, what's going on for me? So by the way, I can fly in at least three regions of uh, Heaven's Word. Uh, of course, there's Western Highlands, Revolving Fordlands, Judy Miss. I'm still a little behind in the Sea of Clouds, mainly because a lot of these things are on this side, which I wouldn't be able, wasn't able to access access until at least now. So. Search the skies for this lay, but see 
Nothing resembling the missing airship. I'm also synced to 59, so there goes deep meditation. Yet yeah, this effort was doomed to failure. Bag mercies of, of Netherlings does bag mercy of Netherlings does not fight. Does not wish to die. Let him follow being attacked, but by whom? Over there, Imperial troops. Your guardians, seize them. Then they'll know where the Archbishop is. The enemy and my enemy. With no choice. With me, as a ghost, protect the honor. Oh, sure, 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 many weapons. There we go. Netherlings save Anuvanu from certain death. Ours, Netherlings, with thanks like summer squall. Anuvanu knows not what wind blows Netherlings to cloud sea, but warmly welcomes them. Shows gratitude where gratitude is due. Lanu Vanu owes much and more to Netherlings, as saviors, as heroes. Zendu, welcome you. The village we go, to north. Come, come. 
But the Carlians are searching for the Archbishop and, we be and believe that the Vanu Vanu knew something about it, his whereabouts. But method methods notwithstanding, we may have, may have the right of it. I conclude that we accept Vanu Vanu's up offer of hospitality in this village. It just happens I'm going for it. There it is. Like reeds, guy, guys, leaves to rest. Come and lay down your burdens. Netherlings, Baru Baru, throws wide arms and greeting. Behold, Akuzandu. Well, warmer welcome than the one we received from the Vandu. I do, I think. Ha! Ah, Vandu bluster, blow hither and yon. Sound and fury like Ember Scale. Eh? What unseen lightning begets such thunderous report? There you are. Did you see it? That's it's that damn flying whale again. The Imperials are after it. Where? The white? He's wounded. Why the twelve? Did the bees just eat that island? An insatiable, oh, insatiable white oh, devourer of worlds. Why must you torment us? Ah, Vanu Vanu wastes no more words in his unfortunate deeds. Come, Netherlands, come and break words with Chief on Sunday. Grab fight, fight, flight path. That needs to be really I can. Grab Aetherite. <laughs> In wisdom deep as nethers and eyes clear as cloudless blue. Who speaks for Zundu? 
hearken to his words. Netherlings deliver Lord Uvano from claws of steel shod fiends. Prove nobility. He knows not to ignore Zephyr winds and brings before you with all haste. Soft rains to soothe the heart and sunshine to gratitude of Sunu, chief of the Z of Zundu, Ramdas. We are honored to meet you, Chief Zanu. I am Alphano Levieux, and this is my companions, Esco Swinsmore and Sid Garland. We have come in search of an airship. A flying vessel, that is, which we believe is somewhere in the cl cloud sea. Ah, white to black steel shod contraption from which you save Ladovaro? Alas, no, that ship belongs to the Guardian Empire, an old enemy of ours, though not the enemy we are looking for at present. Men we seek wear armor purest white and are led by an older man in white robes. Wait, Lanovano here will tell of these then. You do? Well, certain. As sun rises and falls and returns, we are. Zundu scouts have testified to words of Lanovano. Aye, aye, wings carry purpose of the Netherlings to our ears as well. Netherlings seek key to Asa's laugh. Now we're getting somewhere. Hello, Chief Zanu. What exactly is this Azus love? You wear netherlings for blackest clouds portend the greatest danger. Look not into the heart of tempest. There lies ancient birthplace of sin, home of forbidden secrets. To speak more is to fall to wind. But the white devourer's isle where, isle where key is kept, deep within bowels of mighty Bismarck it lies, beyond reach of the cool heart. And beyond ours. Rejoice not in his gluttony, Manova, for as stone gives way to water and wind, all yields to the white. This I know, Chief Zeno, madness of Vanu, who bodes ill to for all Vanu. The Asaslav is home to forbidden secrets, accessible only to the bearer of a key which the Archbishop covets. Much as I would like to believe it's safe within the belly of Bismarck, the Knights of the Heavens Ward yield primal powers. You do not slay the whale and claim the key first, they should be there. Quite how we will go, go about this is another matter. As was the case of our battle with Leviathan, we are out of our element, and this time we have far fewer allies to call upon. Be that as it may, our customary approach still goes true. We must begin by learning more about the white. Let us each question the presence of the village and regroup and share our findings. Mm -hmm. Before I do that, I'm going to do a quick break to regroup the village.
start kissing people. I'm feeling really warm. Take it off my headphones. Nerdling seek knowledge of the white, then speak with Kuno Bali, uh, or most tales. But neglect not to present self with humility and respect. As sons yields to moon and sun, netherlings must greet Vanu Bali with a bow. Her winds are your right your back and sunshine to warm your brow, traveler from below. Kuno Valley, deeper tales, here's your words and she Oh uh, she remembers. In times long ago, in lands not elsewhere, before even the cloud sea, the white is one among many. Who born she swims beside his many brothers in seas of endless water. But hated the white is, for his brothers were pure as black, so great in their contempt and loathing that they turn upon him and rend his flesh asunder. And so he falls, only to rise again, for merciful gods raise him to the heavens, and there he is reborn. The white still longs for the sea to which he cannot return, but in rebirth the splinter of the divine is shared, and so he opens his maw for whence come the clouds, and a new sea is born, home to him alone. Content he gazes below and sees others who are as he, hated and hunted, who weeps his benevolence, he raises up isles of earth and guides these people to the cloud sea. Such is the tale of his rebirth and the salvation of the Vanu. May it never be forgotten. But this demon which menaces the cloud sea, his rage is that of Bundu, his hung hunger that of a wild beast. The owls are his gift to us, yet now he must consume them. Unuvali knows no tales like this. So according to the Vanavana, the sea, sea of clouds and floating isles are a gift from Bismarck to his people. Yes, which he has taken to eating, yes. Technically within his rights, I suppose, if perhaps a little ungenerous. Gods. Then what of you, Alpha? Did you learn not to value? Alas, no. There is... That is, unless you have an interest in the intricacies of Vanu's sky fishing. Sky fishing, my god, so that's it. Alpha no, my boy, I can kiss you. From what we have observed, is Marcus a creature of pure instinct, driven from, primarily by hunger. When wounded by the Imperials, it fled, but not before devouring another island to restore its strength. But it proposes this We tow a suitably Suitably appetizing island in the sea of clouds, in essence, fishing for our flying whale. Once we draw Bismarck out of hiding, we shall use dragon killers to fight and fire grapp grapples onto the beast's hide, and then reel it in close, enabling our resident Icon Slayer to engage it directly. A bold plan, Master Icon, but an extremely dangerous one. Did Esco's fault fail to subdue the creature, he would almost certainly be eaten along with the rest of the appetizing island. Oh, 
you won't fail. If anything goes wrong, I'll be at the helm with the Enterprise ready to tow him out of, out of trouble. And when you're entrusted tasks like this to anyone else. No, I. I trust you have no objections to my joining as you as well. Not at all. More the merrier. Right then. It seems the boys and I have a lot of work to do if the Enterprise is to be ready for, for a fishing trip. Well, you two need to find me some bait. And not just any island mind. One a mouthful at most. So we see Bismarck like near the very beginning of all this, and here we are now we're going to hunt him down. Oh, we're gonna get an ether card. Well, you heard Sid, we need an island to bait the hook. By way of first step, I, I propose we speak with Chief Sun Connor. If the Zendu are as concerned by Bismarck's behavior as they have given us to leave, they may. Well, be supportive of our efforts to slay him. Also, it's a maser for request. Which I've, I have some downtime, I'll start with working on those so I can fly the clouds. Which, considering where we are, seems like it might be really helpful. The truck thought of me is among us. The white feasts and the Vandu rejoice in his carnage. Hear me, Chief Simon. This creature which torments you now is not the deity you who raised the floating isles and made a gift. He is a perversion of your beliefs given form by the Vandu, a false savior who consumes that which he should really rightly safeguard. Yet, it need not be this way. We have the power to strike down this imposter, but we must, must beg of you an island to see it done. Bolts against the tempest, vain do they struggle. Yet who is son to speak of what, what may be? Perhaps even the Trapatine. Trapatine. Trem, uh, that thing. Can turn to the ponentant. I like using big words. Very well, Netherlings. When you are ready, tell Zendu scouts what manner of island you require, and they'll call you to. You shall not fail, Chief Sanu. Sanu. On that you have my word. Come, Eskos, let's see how Sid's preparations are progressing. Wait, he's a herd. Two more do I need in the area? I just need four more. And then I need to do the quest. So I really have like eight. Although I have one here, so. I'm close by. There it is.
Irish Guardian friends have furnished us with dragon killers and ammunition, and have taken the liberty of procuring a Magitech field generator as well. Uh, rest assured, we'll be chains to spare. Every link forged by the manufacturer is a master craftsman. If you're any longer in doubt of their strength, know that they are originally intended to bind dragons, and were not found wanting. It pleases me to inform you that the Vanovano have agreed to furnish us with an island of our choosing. Then all that remains is to confirm the readiness of, our, of the poor buggers who are actually going to be doing the fighting. As it goes, let Wedge know when your party is assembled. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but I don't like this plan. I don't like it one bit, but I can't help but being excited all the same. So tell me, Eskos, are you ready to hunt the white whale? After you, then, Eskos, on the board. Whale. And I'm going to use this to uh, search for it. This is what I do every time I do Aether Currents, is I'll like essentially spam the uh, Aether Compass. Just so I get more of an idea of how um, much further I need to go. Since I, it, it doesn't like put a dot in the map or anything. There it is. There it is. Alright, so we found all the actual regular. We've got this one. And three more quests. And down here. Then lane comes a fortuitous late 
As late season reigns, uh, Gunuvanu and Gunuvanu's family faces desperate times. His brother verges on failing Zendu's rite of passage again. All Vanuvanu and Zendu must undergo rite of passage for respect for others. A tribe otherwise known, no better than nothing. No better than nestling. Other fails trial seven times. Must try for the eighth time soon. Eight times. No Vanuvanu ever failed trials eight times. A brother fails again. Gales of laughter from others in the tribe. Same family until the day sun in the sky no longer burns. Ganuvanu sees Netherlands help. If others like wind would bring seeds, bloom in Ganuvanu, would ask for your help as well. Right passage rule is very strict, but Ganuvanu has a plan. Rules forbid aid from other members of the tribe, but not but <laughs> say nothing of Netherlands. Hope my brother and Quellen pending storm of Doris which were my family's faces. Brother's name is Ganuvanu, thank you. Uh, Gunovanu uh, knows not where. Brother's temperament changes faster than the breeze in autumn. Ask other Gunovanu and seek him out, or Gunovanu stays nestling forever. Gunovanu uh, seeks out Gunovanu. He is skilled with two things uh, finding shade for. For napping and running away from chief when and Ray when chief gives work. The born hatchling works harder than him. Garuvanu Garuvali uh, uh, cannot escape under unending uh, thunderstorm buzzing bugs and desires sleep more than rain during summer drought. Garuvali has an idea to soothe bugs during by deli but delirious uh, from exhaustion, Netherling goes to Ganovali's steed. Three slides grow grass, which uh, devours uh, bugs as Banu had Hatchelin's feast on the Morakampa beat. Netherling bring, brings Ganovali three, and Stormin hears uh, steeds. Gunavali never, never where he should be. While other Vanu work, Gunavali as far as like Griffin in his dreams. Gunavanu, kind of Vanu, not see him in the sunrise. Airlings find Gunavanu easily and look under every tree and village. Gunavanu follow shade as sunset follows at the sunrise. They too, Gunavanu wake up and let them come to the no truth, leading to panic. Vanu awake. Yes, he is. Gunovanu works, works hard. Uh, another thing. No wings, fleshy beak. Gunovanu certainly. Something should not sneak up on Vanuvanu that slumbers. And claws uh, cut sharper than a fierce scale. What? Gunovanu's brother sends Netherling to help with rite of passage? Gunovanu the pass is right and is no longer a nestling. Heaven shine on Ganovanu this day. Where you have failing eight times weighs heavy and hot. But now with Nedling's help, Ganovanu casts off weight and soars higher than any in Ox Undu imagines. Here's the cool thing. I don't have to do another quest after this. It's just the lead-in to a side quest uh, storyline. 
Which I don't have to do. <laughs> to this day, <laughs> on Elegos, uh, I, I still haven't completed done those quests. I think the problem is that the side quests don't give really much incentive unless they have a good enough reward. That I, there are tens, of, probably tens and thousands of side quests that I've never done because it was never really needed before anything, and it's not worth the XP. I can do better things like dungeons. All right here you go. You know how a lot of the times the boss arena is uh, pretty large? Yeah, that's the size of our, 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 our arena. It's not that big. It's quite small. A healer could probably stand in the center and do their AoE heal and hit her with like, no matter what. <laughs> maybe, maybe yeah. Uh, yes, I believe you can fall off.
I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, you're breaking up. So falls the Lord of Mists, as did all others before him. How many times does this make, warrior of light? 
Ah, uh, how much you have grown. Far beyond the limits of mere mortals. He has what we seek. That he does. The key to Azizla, and the secrets of Alag. I see you have regained the blessing of light, albeit at a fraction of its former strength. My thanks to you, Asian, and to you as well, Warrior of Light, for saving us the effort of slaying Bismarck. Now that the key is within our grasp, the path to the heavens shall at last be laid bare. deeds shall the wrongs of antiquity be righted, and man reclaim the reins of history. Forgive me, Essigos. Had I known what, what was happening, mayhap I could have done something to stop them. Last Wedge and I were still sealed within the engine room and heard them off the whole control was over. And now for our efforts, the Archbishop holds the very thing we sought to keep it from him. And all is not lost, for we yet live and we know their destination. Let us give chase and bring an end to their machinations. Though we failed to secure the key, we must not forget that we succeeded in rid ridding the realm of another prime. We presented the Vano Vano's lands with them being consumed and doing so. The Zendu at least shall be glad of our deeds. Let us go and inform Chief Zendu of our victory. Him and the others will need a moment to tend to the enterprise besides.
Wait, something is amiss. Imperial troops, and they have already secured the area. Reveal yourselves at once! And there I was, expecting more beastmen. Who are you? I thought his guardians responsible for the disappearance of our scouts, but I see now that I was mistaken. Just as Wire observed, the Warrior of Light is wont to appear at the most inopportune time. The warrior of light, he who bested Van Belsar. It would seem that the famous hero of Eosia seeks as his lar as well. Hardly unexpected. The secrets of the Alagans' power to bind icons to their will could scarcely fail to interest the scions of the Seventh Dawn. You know as well as we what will ensue should these insatiable creatures be allowed to roam free. That their very existence threatens the life of this star. We but disagree on the solution to the problem. Genocide has ever been the Empire's favored recourse. And that is why we will continue to oppose your every attempt to claim Eorzea! You do not hesitate to speak your mind, even when your every word could be your last. Alas, your sentiments betray the narrowness of your view. The fate of Eorzea and its inhabitants is of little concern next to the fate of the world. Tis my solemn charge as Emperor to bring the icons to heal. If this requires the extermination of certain elements, then so be it. No, don't! They are not his thralls! Where did that come from? Take cover! Your radiance, we must withdraw. We shall meet again, warrior of light. On that you have my word. I feel like surprise coffee. So Garlemald too has designs on Azizla. But why would the Emperor himself elect to lead the expedition?
Ever in my wildest dreams did I think I would stand less than 20 paces from the Emperor of Gollumon. Varys son Galvis, the flesh, Oscar. I assume the commander that accompanied him will be, must be the legatus of whom the centurion. Ah, forgive me. This is neither the time nor place for our idle speculation. Pray return to the Enterprise. It occurs to me that our friends may have run afoul of Imperial Gold as well. I have yet to appraise Chief's honor of all that has occurred, but once I have, we will rejoin you at the airship. I have a quest to turn in here quickly. Take the twelve, you're alive, us goes. When that battleship appeared and fired in the village, we feared the game was up for you and Alphado. When did the seven hells happen out there? First the Archbishop turns up with an Asian in tow, and now the goddamn Emperor pays us a visit. What is this? What is this? A procession of no notable bastards? Who's next? Keeper of the seven bloody hell. Seven bloody gate? No one's so notable, Master Garland. I'm happy to report the Zendu of overjoyed to learn of this bonk's demise. His son who uh, sends his warmest regards as ghosts is much talk of West Wing. Miraculously, none suffered lasting harm during the raid. It would seem the Zendu have taken were have taken unawares and wisely chose to offer no resistance. I sense they have, have no more to fear from the Empire, for the present at least. Had the Emperor truly been intent on their extermination, Oxundu would already have been leveled. Plainly, Varus is only interested in reaching out to Sla. Speaking of which, if we are ready to continue the chase, the Enterprise is... well, shall we? Get a sit pet. First you wonder why she was able to calculate the heading indicated in the beam of light emitted by the key. As the slot lies in that direction, we'll find it. So they may have a lead on us, but she's no enterprise. We'll catch them. We'll see. think that I would ever have occasion to pilot a suit of Magitek armor again, least of all under these circumstances.
My full name is Lucia Go Junius, and I was born a citizen of Garlemald. Ah, that explains it. When we first met in Ishgard, I very nearly called you Livia. Livia? Livia Sus Junius? The tribunus who served under Gaius van Bailsar? Aye, she was my sister, though we spent little time together. After our parents were killed in an uprising, we were sent to live in different households, setting us on separate paths. Livia felt at home on the battlefield and chose to become a soldier, while I underwent training to become a spy. Then, Ishgard was... My mission. It was believed that Alagan relics of great worth were stored in the vault and I was sent to investigate. Though I was given little information at the time, I now suspect I was searching for the key we but recently lost. And then I met Sir Emmerich. It was his usefulness to my mission which prompted me to approach him, but I soon found myself drawn to him for other reasons. He too was a prisoner of his past, judged for his heritage as a bastard son of the Archbishop. Yet unlike my sister and I, he did not curse his fate. He simply rose above it. In time, I came to realize that I had found a man worth following, and a new home besides. And when I subsequently confessed all to Sir Emmerich, he was good enough to accept me into his service. I do not question your loyalty to Sir Emmerich. It is your loyalty to your sister which concerns me. I have long been of the opinion that those who dwell in the past risk losing sight of their future. My sister fought for her convictions and for those she held dear. So do I. So must we all. Well, I, for one, am happy to welcome a fellow Garlean to our merry band. Especially one who can make Magitek armor sing. Chief, we should be getting close. Once we break through those clouds, we'll be right where the light was pointing. Right where Azizla should be. Hold on, everyone! Chief, is that... Alagon? Aye. There's no mistaking their handiwork. What was that? Some sort of barrier. I've lost the artillery propeller! Sid, it's no use! We must return to Ishgard and find another way! God damn it all! Why do the Alagans always have to make everything so bloody complicated?
Yuck. We barely finished repairing the damage occurred during a scholar fishing trip. On the other hand, any landing we walk away from, as they say. I can only presume the Soleil you know, passed through the barrier on skates. That was cer would certainly explain why the bottom called it. Assuming Sid is correct, I have no reason to think that he is. The, uh, the Vano's key is, is required to pass through the barrier protecting Nasus La, but even without it, we must find a way to reach the Isle. I shall have everyone convene at the seat of the Lord Commander, that we might discuss how best to proceed. As before, make yourself known to the Cosmen when you arrive, blah 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 blah. They, when getting into a sh small instance thing, remember this is how you get in there. As I went through in through the out gate, which is so annoying sometimes. Especially when I come here and you mark that t I'm supposed to talk to him. In summary, the Isle owes its lofty position to the industry of the Alagards. And we can be all but certain that the Archbishop and his cronies are enjoying the view from its top. I see. If we are to join them, we will first need to pass through the Isle's etheric barrier, which is, alas, more powerful than most. Powerful enough to make a mess of a perfectly good airship at any rate. As far as I can gather, the barrier mechanism draws ether from the surrounding environment and polarizes its elemental aspect to produce what is, in effect, a wall of lightning. It seems plain that without the Vanu's key, any attempt to reach the Isle will end in failure. Alas, the key was careless enough to leave without us, and I don't think the Vanu keep a spare. Master Garland, based on your experience, is there no other way that we might breach the barrier? Well, in the past, we've beaten similar barriers by nullifying them with elemental converters. But the one we're up against this time dwarfs all that we've encountered before. The Enterprise simply isn't large enough to bear the requisite amount of crystals. I am reminded of the quantity needed to nullify Leviathan's command of the sea. A veritable mountain of crystals that could only be borne by lashing two galleons together to form a twin vessel, scarcely able to propel itself, much less fly. That said, we're not without options. If it isn't feasible to nullify the barrier, we might try piercing it. How? We create a ram of condensed ether and mount it on my ship. There's just one problem. I don't have the faintest idea how to build one. It's going to take a true authority in the field, I reckon. Would that the Archons were still with us. But yesterday evening, I chanced to find Mistress Tataru in unusually high spirits. Assuming I understood her excited ramblings correctly, she has acquired a clue, pointing to the whereabouts of one such individual. An Archon? Truly? Ha! Fortune favors the righteous, eh? Well then, let's not waste any time. While you go and look for our missing friend, I'll work on modifying the Enterprise. Her hull will need reinforcing to bear the punishment, not to mention a mount for the ram. Just you wait, my pretty. By the time I'm finished, you'll be an airship reborn.
Welcome back, Eskis. How goes fishing? Did you manage to catch up on the Archbishop and his earnings? Well, I tell her what went on. We finally arrived at Azazla, only to find your way barred by some sort of barrier. Typical. But it's not all bad news. I have progress in the search for our friends. Don't worry, Eskis. We'll get to Azazla yet. When you, when you fled the victory feast, you used the ancient water course beneath the city, right? Well, shortly after things went back to normal in Olda, I asked Marshal Tarpin to have the tunnel searched. The logic place, look, it was there that we lost contact with Mephilia Thangred and Yeshova. What? Dare I ask what the Marshal found? Uh, I don't actually know. Pippin's message just said that there was a had been a discovery and they were to come to the Hall of Flames at our earliest community. I do not think what it might be. We shall depart at once. Tataru let Orange know to join us in Ulda, who will wish to be present as well. Yes, sir. Been my boyfriend. You're grateful for your assistance, Marshal Tarpin. You saved her grace and fault both. It's the least I could do to repay. Give me my impatience, Marshal, but you mentioned discovery. Yes, of course. As per your request, I had my men scour the, scour the waterways. Almost immediately, we discovered a difficulty. An entire section of the tunnel had collapsed. With the Middle Concerns cooperation, however, we were able to remove the rubble, which yielded the battered bodies of a dozen crystal braids. Go on. Be at ease, Master Alphano. Your friends were not among the deceased. That alone is cause of hope. And then the this. Stolas warned. I presumed as much. If I may, Mark. His eyes, I did some eyes, judging by the Aetheric imprint that lingereth yet upon the, this one that I hath assuredly been employed in the casting of the most uncommon magic. Amy? The very first that man did conceive to transverse grace distance, and the ancient predecessor to all methods of travel that utilized the life stream. Hello. This spell entaileth the reduction of the corporeal form into its contingent ether, that the caster might enter the life stream and ride its currents thereby. Unlike the teleportation of magics of modern times, it requireth not a lengthy incantation that Yeshtola should choose to employ such a spell. He speaketh the need for haste. All of which would suggest he managed to escape. Would that it was so simple. Know that the scholars of Scalian forbade the use of the spell and would good reason. The Cather hath but limited control over his course. For every mage who came safe to his, unto his destination, another would be set to drift in the live stream, never to emerge. What? No! No, that can't mean... Be not downcast, my friends, for there is yet hope. Is like that you stole this pa passage hath left traces, live stream. Could we but follow these 
is from the point in which the magics were invo was involved, invoked, we may yet find it. Did the Silver's excavation site then? Well, thanks to your aid, Marshal. Do not mention it. I shall pray for your lady, your shoulder, safe return. Thank you for your honey for the information. I got work to do. if I go to the right way. Last time I was here, I was a Hrothgar. Evidence of Yustola's passage will have been made faint by, by time, but may have some straight you escape traces, yet remain to guide our steps. Trail lead us to the north and east, and to the bosom of the twelve spot. Are you certain? Aye, there is no mistake. Thither hath Yisrola journeyed. And yet the Gretanians have reported no sightings. We must take this to mean she is set adrift. If it be so, I do fear that our friend, contrary to its name, the light. I do fear for my friend. Contrary to its name, the life stream is more akin to a raging torrent. Finger over long in the midst of the maelstrom, and the ether that formeth one soul shall surely be scattered, ne'er be reformed. We have no time to waste, Lord Yangje. Pray explore all possible options for reversing the effects of our forbidden magic. As it goes to Tar, we shall. Now press on in Gridania and petition the Elder Seedseer's aid. when I go in the wrong direction. Every time I take an eighth right, I always get turned around.
Since I'm here, I'm going to do something. Anyone wants all time accurate? <clears throat> We said the elementals perceive the life stream. We, if, as we suspect, your stroller is still adrift in the midst, we may be able to find her. But we are, but if we are to appeal to them, we must needs do so <clears throat> through their chosen, the Podjol. It is imperative, therefore, that we speak with Connie Senna without delay. I have already requested an audience for the Elder Seeds here. She will receive us in the Lotus Stand Prison. Be welcome, my friends, and speak freely. I gather your suit will admit no delay. It will not, my lady. Pray forgive the abrupt nature of our request, but it is a matter of life and death. Explain the situation about Ancred, maybe Minfilia. I see. As you say, we must needs act swiftly if we are to free Yishtona from the ungentle hold of the life stream. And as you have surmised, we cannot do this unaided, however. In requesting the Elemental's assistance to find Yishtola, you must needs be aware of one difficulty. A difficulty born of the fundamental difference between man and elemental. That being... In perceiving the world around him, man relies upon senses such as sight and sound. For the sake of convenience, he gives names to such things as are near or dear to him. Being formed of pure ether, However, such concepts are foreign to the elementals. Instead, they perceive by observing the ebb and flow of the energies of life. So profound a division cannot be bridged with simple discourse. The elementals' voices stir not the air, and thus reach not our ears, while our words are but wind to them. Though we seers can commune with them through feelings, Nought that we can impart will serve to aid them in identifying Yishtola. Nay, they must needs be presented with ether which is akin to hers. If you could but find a family member. Oh! I know just the person! Yishtola has a sister who came to live in Gradania. She told me about her once. Oh, that is most fortunate indeed. Pray, seek this sister out then, and bring her to Evershade. There, 
We shall petition the Great One's aid in finding your lost companion. If memory serves, your stellar sister is named Mitra. Mitra. She's supposed to be a member of the Sons of Kornok. Anyway, she spends most of her time around Kalaru Falls, from which I recall. Let's look for her there. direction and Yes, is there something you require? Mm -hmm. Mitra. It's an honor to meet you. My name is Afno Levier. This is Tataru Taru. Uh, we're trying to get Yashtola from back from the live stream because she lives off love. You are my sister's comrades in the science of the seventh dawn. And I heard that your people be who I desperately sought to be Torah. But all my efforts were no avail. Now I know why. The bitten spell falls in. It'd be so reckless. But what's done is one. I thank you for bringing me word. Just to say, I should be glad to help. Though we are not born of, we are born of different mothers, our veins course with the same father's blood. Right? I hope that this will be enough for the elementals. Come, let us make forever shade as that one. Let us begin. Raya O, Arun, if you would. Hearken to me, O oh Great Ones. Pray give yourselves to the life stream, a drifting soul to find. Please, Yishtola, please come back to us. There. Now!
A room has been readied at the roost. Pray, bear her thither at once. All that remains is to pray, my friends. I don't know how Arun can stand having the hair basically covering his eyes the entire time. Seeing her face again, it's... Oh, I've been so worried. Look, hair is overrated. That's my opinion on when it comes to hair. I, I prefer the shorter the better. If you have long hair, good on ya. You're not finding attractive fights. I can appreciate fabulous hair. I just don't find it dry. I'm also a pretty practical guy, so having your hair out of your face and, and fabulous, great! Having it just covering your eyes like this. How the fuck do you see? <laughs> It doesn't like if it bounces around, bounces into your eye, and you're like, ow, 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 ow. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I've been so weird. Okay. So I found it, you're still alive, and she's recovered. Is she still resting in the room, though she is still unconscious. Signs are positive. Andra says she is in sound health and should awaken before long. Isn't that wonderful? Now, while we wait for your stroller to wake up, I thought I'd take the opportunity to finish my little surprise for us. It's something I've been working on for a while now, and I hope that she would one day return to us. It wants for just a couple more items before it's ready. We've already placed orders for these items. Could you, could I ask that you choose them? me from one of the uh, leather workers guilds and another from the conjurer's guild speak with mr steva and brother isun yan and they ought to take care of you by the way i'm a white mage only a level 30 or 33 white mage oh we're monkeying right now Greetings, Esco. So I trust you have been well? Is all that you require of me? Ah, yes, Mr. Shapiro's order. As requested, has been sanctified in this light of the elementals. I know not what she intends for the staff, but it is, most, it is a most singular artifact. Even one possessed in my experience would struggle to wield it.
was it? I'm busy woman to be so be quick about it. If you wish to place an order, speak with Rand Randall. Mm -hmm. Here to retrieve an order? Oh, for Mrs. Tataru, you say? You come at a good time. I finished it just but moments ago. It was no small clue working on the to our specifications, but I did it nonetheless. Payment has already been settled. However, did the girl come by by chimerical hide anyways? You need either balls or steel balls of steel or bottomless coin purse. It seemed to me that she had need. By the way, did I ever mention that I got uh this weapons? Yeah. Went through the uh uh initial relic weapon uh quest for uh I think they're the coolest. So. I actually did start working on the, the next upgrade to it. So when I'm a little bored on Elegos and or, or yeah, and Elegos, I can get a. Uh, Continue working on that. Be about getting the full upgrades. I kind of need to do that same thing on Elegos. But I love him so much. By the way, I just want one want you want to note. I am smaller than Tataru, by the way. I don't think it's by much, but. I believe I am shorter than Tataru. Hi, you're back. Yes, I am, I hope. Ooh, with precisely as I requested, a perfect match for our other pieces. Truly, Jiva is a master among masters. The staff com mm, completes the surprise. Thank you so much, Eskos. <laughs> I can't wait to see what this fellow thinks of the surprise. I still wonder if she's doing very well and Contras has left her to her sister's care. Let's go and pay her a visit, shall we? You stole her! I'm so glad you're back! Tataru. You are safe. Thank the Twelve. Something has changed about you, Elphino. Or mayhap the change is with me. I seem to sense the ether around me more keenly than before. I am pleased to see you well again. Do you feel strong enough to talk? Worry not. I am well enough. Tell us then, what befell you after you fled the feast? We were told that there had been a tunnel collapse. That was my doing. I brought the tunnel down that you and Minfidia might escape. At the last moment, I invoked a teleportation magic, in hopes of spiriting Thancred away at least. Needless to say, it did not go quite as planned, and I found myself adrift in the life stream. The others? Where are they? Did they not escape? They remain unaccounted for. You were the only one we have been able to find. I am truly sorry. It was the Crystal Braves who pursued you that day. My hubris that led to our undoing. No apologies are necessary, Alpha No. You are not to blame for what occurred. Know that were our comrades here, they would commend you for keeping the light of hope alive. Don't 
Don't worry. The others are alive and well. I'm sure of it. We just need to find them. Indeed, Tataru. Let us find our friends and rebuild the Scions. Ha! There is the Alphano I remember. And I feel much the better for his return. Tis time I arose. <gasps> that reminds me! I have a change of clothes for you! I don't like to boast, but I made them myself. I learned how to weave while we're in Ishgard, you see? Tataru has apprised me of all that took place in the aftermath of the assassination plot. It would seem I have been away for some while. Yes, much and more happened during your absence. At present, we seek to follow the Archbishop to Azisla. And you want for some manner of etheric ram to pierce the floating isle's protective barrier? We do. Might you be able to furnish us with one? A means to prise open a hole in an Alagarn barrier. And one large enough to admit an airship, no less. Hmm. Nay, I lack the knowledge to devise such a weapon. But I know of one who could. A leading figure in the field of etheric research and one of the finest scholars ever to grace Charlian, Matoya, my former master. In my youth, I was the honor of studying under him. In the field of etheric research, who is without rival. I have no doubt that her knowledge will be of aid to our cause. The question is, will she share it with us? My master will ever be with us. The gods forbid anyone to When the Guardian Empire first marched on the Yozu. <coughs> ah, I don't know why I'm copying this. However, Matoya refused to join the Exodus. To this day, she lives as a hermit on the bridges of the Italian city. So it is the Dravanian hinterlands that we must go, to the place of my birth. Though Elise and I were born in Charlie, and our, our days there were short, we remained only until the Exodus, and I have not returned since. Oh, so it will be a homecoming then. Find a reason as any, any to go to Charlie. You will afford us the opportunity to visit, pay my master a visit. <laughs> I believe you have mistaken our primary objectives, Yushkola. At any rate, the journey will take us through largely unknown territory. Let us first return to Ishgard and make our preparations. Alright, uh, in matter of breaking the videos into shorter lengths instead of five hour long videos, I'm going to uh, take a short break here, probably like uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Allow me to stretch and stuff, and I think I'm actually going to make some coffee because I've been yawning a lot. Almost left or something. But I'll be right back, or I'll be back in just like 10 to 15 minutes. 
Don't worry. You're fine. Fine. Here. 